And today we'll be covering a, uh, a crash recovery repair. If you guys have the uh, new Phantom series, whether it's a 3 Standard, 3 Advanced, 3 Pro, or 3 4K, uh, and if you experience a crash and you try to initiate another flight and it says um, internal error, IMU error, and it asks you to, to calibrate and you can't get it to calibrate, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. So in this video, we're going to show you how to fix the IMU or the internal measurement unit error on a drone. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my drone. I'll show you what the error looks like. Once you turn on the drone, select the Wi-Fi. And we're going to locate the Phantom. You have this little buzzing noise. That's an indicator that IMU is going bad on it. And so we're going to wait till the Phantom load. All right, Phantom series here. Systems check. And put a checklist on it. All right, so we'll do a checklist here. And so now, once you once once you um, initiate the DJI app, you're gonna see when you try to fly this drone, there's gonna be an error. Okay, so this is going to be a real-time perspective. You see IMC error right here, and IMU is uh, abnormal. And when you hit calibrate, what you're going to get is an attempt to calibrate, and then you're going to have this error on here. It won't get past. It won't get past one before you get this error right here. And then 1% there. And then you see unknown error. And this happens consistently. There's no way to fix this problem software wise. So, what I'm about to show you guys is actually how to open up the shell of this drone and how to reset the accelerometer or the internal measurement unit of this drone. This is a pretty big uh, video. Uh, many of you who have these uh, have end up sending it to DJI and waiting up to like three or four months to get it back. I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. And if you if it looks a little complicated, come to our store or ship it to us, we'll take care of it. The turnaround is about one week. Okay, so for this repair, what we need to do is actually open up this drone. And the tools you're gonna to need are two types of uh, pen and lobe. The uh, larger gauge and the smaller one. We need to open this shell, and then what we need to do after that is just to go ahead and um, well, we're going to remove the shell first. So, with here, let's go ahead and remove the strip. Turn the bird over. Press it carefully. Now, using a screw, a smaller pinola, what we're going to do is remove the outer shell. Okay, so now that you got the screws out, what we need to do is slowly remove the shell. There's going to be a, uh, let's go ahead and disable the battery while we're at it too. Pull out the battery. Pull out the battery now and slowly lift. There's going to be clamps here. These clamps are pressing it down. So what you're going to need uh, to carefully move it is, um, let me use a tip of this pen clip right here. I'm gonna run it around. Okay. So what we need to do is go ahead and free these clips. Got one side. Let's go ahead and clip the other one. So there are clips holding these, unlike the Phantom 2, 
but what I'm doing is I'm using the uh, pin top to free the clip off. Okay. Slowly pull it out. Okay, so now you got this GPS cable right here. Let's go ahead and pull the GPS cable off. This is the GPS cable. Put the top out of play. And this is the uh, IMU or the accelerometer, the internal measurement unit. And what you need to do is actually reset this. And this is a way to do it. Many of you uh, probably are clueless on how to do this, so I'm going to show you close. There are clips here. We're going to use a small Phillips, a small flathead screwdriver, and there are four clips, one on each side, two on each side, and we only need to remove one side, but you don't want to damage this casing at all, okay? So now I'm going to open up. I'm using the, uh, the flat screwdriver. I'm lifting up the clip, one side here. Now I'm going to the other side, also lifting it up carefully. And now I'll go ahead and slowly pull out this. All right, this is the accelerometer. And what we need to do with this one is I'll go ahead and peel this off slowly. You want to reuse this uh, double-sided double adhesive with the sticky uh, foam insulator so and now what happens is the uh, the pendulum in here the accelerometer is jammed after you crash it it gets stuck so what we need to do with a butt of a screwdriver just tap it like two or three times one two three fourth for measure and then a little tap okay now that should reset it so let's go ahead and actually put this back into place carefully and now, put the clip back on. Okay, before we put everything together, we're gonna go ahead and test this to make sure that this actually is the, in, the reason why, we, this is how we see if it works or not. So go ahead and plug, push this back in. Now we're gonna run the app again. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and run the app. Uh, I'm gonna select DJI Phantom from the um, Wi-Fi option, which is this Phantom here. Now the Phantom is, once it's paired using the Wi-Fi, we can go into the actual app, DJI Go app. And now that's the feed from my camera here. And now let's go ahead and look at the accelerometer. And now let's see if we can calibrate it now. Let's go ahead and go with IMU. Okay, and now let's go ahead and calibrate it. Okay, so calibration progress. Uh, if it doesn't work within like, um, within one minute you'll know. But as you can see, it is calibrating. And past one, it's going to 1%. You're not getting that error. So the uh, proximity has reset. I'm just gonna hold on to this because it's gonna be a little while. So you can see it's going to 10% now. It went to 11%. So you can see the accelerometer is completely working. All right, so calibration is at 100%. So now everything is working. 
So what we need to do is go ahead and put the shell back on, but you can see if internal calibration unit works or not. One way to test is if the motor works, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the, um, I'm gonna power the drone off. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put the um, GPS back in. GPS unit, wires in place. And now, let's go ahead and close the shell, but we won't completely close it yet. We're going to test, the, test this to make sure. Okay, power the drone up, and now you're not getting that little annoying noise anymore. And if there's an internal issue, you won't be able to initiate the motor. Hold on. Let me sync this. Got to read first. Okay. And this is made for indoor flight, uh, outdoor flight. As you can see now, we're getting the feed. It's controlled up and down. The camera's going up and down. Now let's go ahead and initiate the motor. Left, right. Up, down, left, right. Okay, and so you can see the IMU is no longer an issue. It is safe to fly. And non, it's not GPS because it's indoors. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put the shell back on. Power down the drone. Screw it up. Do you want to go ahead? We're going to do a test flight outside? No. After this, we put this in, we go outside, shoot it. Okay, so. We're going outside now to test this flight to make sure that everything works. All of our repair always get a test flight. And uh, this is the back of a, the parking deck in the shopping center in Richmond, Virginia. I'm gonna power up the drone. And I'm gonna fly it up right here. Find a nice spot. So with every flight, we always need to uh, get a good GPS signal. I'm going to go ahead and calibrate the uh, compass too. So I'm going to select network on here. And Phantom's on. So we're going to go ahead and get a view of our drone. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead. All right, so everything is right. I'm gonna cal calibrate the compass. So what I'm gonna do, pick the drone up, spin it. Now, spin it clockwise this way. Okay, compass has been calibrated, and now, I'm gonna initiate the recording. And let's go ahead and hover. Flying up with the birds. As you can see the view here. Do a little flight. Everything looks good. Bring it a little lower, move it forward. All right, now I want to bring us lower view. I'm going to come towards us. All right, so you, you see the vantage of the drone. Bring it towards me. And I want to let it fly like hell towards me. Now do a flyby towards us. Climb up. All right. So as you can see, the uh, the internal, the IMU, uh, and the accelerometer is completely repaired on this drone. This is Prac with iRepair MD and Digital Life, safe repair and safe flying.
Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and visit us at digitallifex.com.